Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As you may see, I'm in the same attire again. Um, but I'm going to put on my glasses so I can see. Okay, um, this is going to be a haul that I have hauled since May and June. Um, like I said, I haven't been up here, so I haven't been able to show you guys what I've got. But I'm so excited about these items because they're thrifty items. I didn't pay full price for a lot of these items. Um, I've either gotten them off my Facebook groups, uh, makeup groups that uh, sell, buy and sell makeup. Or I have... Um, pick them up from the drugstore or TJ Maxx you know TJ Maxx has makeup items also and the items that I did purchase fully I will let you know that I did purchase those fully but for a lot of these items I'm I'm a stay-at-home mom as I explained in the other video before this and I have to be thrifty a lot of the times I have my certain picks of what I will pay for fully and certain things I will mm -mm. I just ain't doing it because I'm just that kind of a girl. I, I I like what I like when it comes to purses and you know uh, jewelry, shoes of that nature, things like that. I put a good quality of money in because I have to wear those things longer. And I love my purses. I love bags. So you'll learn that about me as this video hopefully grows. As this channel grows, you'll learn that. So first things first, I want to start out with a bracelet that I absolutely love that my husband had got got me from the Pagata jewelry store. I love Pagata. If you all don't know what that is, search for one in your area. I think it's called Pagata. Um, but it's this nice infinity uh, bracelet right here. And it's got a little angel wing right there on the pendant, a little silver bracelet it is sterling silver but I love the infinity love sign it has diamonds on one side of the um infinity sign sorry about that <laughs> I was about to drop something um I absolutely love this because I have a necklace that he bought me some years ago from one of our earlier on anniversaries and it has the infinity sign on it and it means infinity love and I love those signs and when I saw this bracelet I was like yes I have to have it and I love bangles as you can tell I love bangles and yeah so yeah that is one item that he bought me that I absolutely love I wear it non-stop so off with that um I will let you know the best I can where I got these items from so that's the best I can tell you um the first thing I want to show you I got this little makeup bag. It says contents, my life. Love this bag. Absolutely love it. You can throw it in your purse. Just explains me. So yeah, pretty much. Um, this bag was filled full of a lot of things that are now in this little jar. It has a lid and I keep it on my top of my makeup vanity because I use a lot of these things. I got the bag off of my makeup group on Facebook for 20 bucks and I thought it was a great deal because I do use a lot of the items that came in the bag and I will go through it very briefly very quickly I got the Dr. Dennis Gras skincare original formula daily face peel pretty much step one step two I love facial things especially when it's dealing with my face I love to take care of my skin so that's a lot of reason why I grabbed for this bag then I got the Dr. Brent Laser A Peel System, step one, step two. I have not used these yet, so yeah. Um, I got the Pure Correcting Primer. I'm not sure if this came in a bag or it just I just put it in a jar, so I'll just show it to you anyway. Pure Correcting Primer Hydrate and Balance. It's oil free and silicone free. It's a primer, so it's a correcting primer, so I'm not sure what shade this is. But I'll probably use it anyway. It's under my makeup. Then I got the Clinique Pep Star Eye Cream. I showed this to you in the last video. Love this stuff. It's supposed to depuff your eyes. And it does do the job. Because I've been using it for the last week. It does the job. I also got... Um, the I don't know what the company this is. It's 28 Remedy Skincare Program. A Balancing Toner. I got that and all these are little sample size and I love sample size items 
uh, I'm not sure if I got this in this bag or not, but I'll just show you. Too Faced Hangover Face Primer. I'm obsessed with this already. Yes, I do love it. The Stravectine SD Stretch Marks and Wrinkles. I guess the serum. It was supposed to work within two to eight weeks. You know, I said I was taking care of my skin for the wrinkled people that are going to come later on in my life. I can't prevent them from coming, but I can sure try to, you know, make them not look so bad. And then I got another Lancome mascara. I love these Lancome mascaras. They're good for when I'm traveling. And yeah, I'm getting ready to have a trip coming up in the month of July. So a lot of these items will be just going back in that bag and going with me. Um, I got a little lipstick. I'm not sure who this is by. I wish I knew who it was by because I would love to buy the bigger one of it is the shade Milky. Oh, I see it now. It's Laura Mercier. <laughs> it's right there. You can't see it, but it's like right there. I just seen it when the sun hit it. It's Laura Mercier. It is in the shade Milky Way. This is a beautiful, beautiful color. I've already worn this gorgeous color. So yeah, now that I know who it's by, I can buy it. I got this and I was so excited about this. This is one reason why I got the bag because every time I go on Ulta to get this product, they're sold out. So I can never get it. It's the Benefits What's Up highlighter. It's soft focus. <laughs> this is a beautiful highlight. This is, it's a cream highlight, but it's so gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I was so excited when I seen it in the bag because I said, I don't mind, you know, using this little one until I can get the big one. I got a little Coastal Scent Style Eye Eyeshadow Sampler. And let me see if it has the shades. It doesn't have the shades, but it's just this nude color and a purplish, maybe a purplish brown color. I'm not sure. But they're little samples, little teeny tiny samples. And yeah, they're very pigmented. So yeah. Then I got the Benefits Oh La La Lift. It's supposed to, I guess, make your face feel like it's got a facelift. I'm not sure. Anyhow, um, on to my next things. I think I'm going to do palettes first so I can go ahead and put those up and get those out of the way. Um, I got the infamous finally. I have been trying to get my hands on this palette for God knows how long. And I was willing to pay for this palette full price. But when it went out of stock and everybody was trying to sell theirs, it went ridiculously high. So I waited months before I could get hold of this palette. And I got it for a good price finally. And I got it off the Facebook group. A lot of these palettes, well... I'll let you know. This one I got off the Facebook makeup group is the Violet Voss Pro Holy Grail palette. And it is gorgeous. It is very gorgeous. And I'm so glad I got it. Um, comes with a little film in it. And yes, I'm pretty sure y'all seen this floating all over Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. You know what it looks like. But yes, 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 yes. I got it. And I'm loving it. So let's put that back. If it'll go back in. Um, the next thing I got also off the Facebook group. It's not been too long release. But a uh, lady sold it to me. And because I guess one of the eyeshadows was chipped in it. And so yeah she sold it to me. It is the Modern Renaissance Palette. Yes, I was debating about actually buying this one. I, I kept going back and forth on the Anastasia um, website. And I was like, you know, should I get this? Should I not get this? But I'm trying to save for a trip that we're going on. And I wanted to go on the trip more than I wanted to purchase this for. So I was able to get this off of the Facebook group. And like I said, one of the eyeshadows are chipped. Antique bronze is chipped. But I don't mind. Because all the palettes that I have, I'll never be able to use a whole palette up. I'll probably, my daughters will probably end up getting my makeup. But it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. I love the cranberry shades, the red shades, the orange. I love this whole palette. This is me in a palette. So, yeah, as you can tell, I love neutral palettes. 
that is my thing i those that's what i gravitate more towards so yeah also off the of facebook uh group i was able to pick up this bad boy it is the Lorac pro 3 palette i have one and two i did purchase those from ulta but this one i wasn't sure if i wanted it or not so i waited to see how my feelings were about it and i was able to purchase it off the of makeup groups for a very good price so i paid that price for it and yeah that's what that palette looks like i am in love with this um amethyst shade right here and i love rose bronze which is right next to amethyst and um terracotta is an absolutely gorgeous shade oh beautiful beautiful but you know to be honest with you the first palette the rock one palette was is the best it still is the best love that one i think i like this one next to the first one i'm not too crazy about the second one because i don't use that one as much but this one and the first one i love but the first one is my favorite <sighs> last but not least well no not last i ordered these because i've been trying to get my hands on this pat on one of the palettes for ever but it's always stays sold out if you get the jazz a lot of the palettes i want stay sold out and i wanted it but i couldn't ever get it so i went online last week and luckily it was back in stock and they were having a deal buy two for i think 40 some dollars and i i said why not it's a very affordable website you know the palettes are bomb and i love big bulky palettes like this because you can you know you can get all your little bases it's another neutral palette i'm a neutral girl don't like a lot of bling on you know things going on but i went after the morphe uh 35 matte palette this palette was so hard to track down. They had it on the makeup, Facebook makeup groups, but they everybody kept wanting this palette and it stayed so out. This is, once again, me in a palette. All the colors that I love, all the colors that I gravitate towards. It has my trans, my transition shades. All these would, you know, definitely be transition shades for me, especially this color right here. You know, and then it has my neutral browns, and it's just an all matte palette. And you know, I don't think I own an all matte palette in my collection, so this is the first one. I don't quote me on that, but I think this is the first all matte palette that I have. So excited about that, and it's so pigmented, yes. And along with that one came the Morphe 35OS palette, and this is the shimmer palette. And you ladies. This is a beautiful palette. I know it looks exactly like the matte palette, and it does, but this is, you know, all shimmer. It's 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 totally shimmer palette. I still have the brand new, you know, film on it. I have not taken it off yet. I have not used this yet, but look at this. Ugh! Cannot wait to play. Cannot wait to play. And I know some of you are probably looking like, why do you need that many palettes? I love collecting makeup. This is the one thing that I do say I have learned to love. And it is totally makeup. I love, you know, finding weird quirky things. I love finding, you know, dupes for things. I love it. So this is what I love to do. People love to collect all sorts of things. And I just like collecting makeup. So yay for me. Um, from Walmart... I picked up the Black Radiance palette in Downtown Browns. Gorgeous palette. Also neutral. You know the deal. And then the palette that I used in my last video on these eyes, which is the CoverGirl Queen collection in Desert Bronze. Gorgeous palette, ladies. Gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I am wearing it right now on my eyes, and I cannot get enough. This palette has given me life today. Yes, it is giving me so much life. So yeah, got those on Facebook. Back to the Facebook group. I picked up this uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Gleam Kit. Yeah, I did it. It's a highlight. I'm addicted to highlighters. I have a serious, seriously bad problem when it comes to highlighters. Now, ladies, chocolate cover lady, color ladies. Um yeah 
this palette it will work for us it it will you just have to know what to pair it with and use a light light hand with this is a beautiful palette it that's the best i can say is a beautiful palette i i love this palette it's just at first when i look at it, i see a lot of the the pinks they have a lot of the pinks right here but a lot of people will tell you that we cannot wear you know those kind of colors because this is crushed pearl this crushed pearl color right here it is exactly what it says a pearl like color but i i happen to love it um there's nothing bad I can say about this palette. I happen to love it. A lot of people say they don't see the point in this whole big palette, but these pans are huge in this. You can pop them out um, and, you know, put something else back in the place. But these these pans are extremely huge. On her website, they sell for 40 bucks. I didn't pay 40 bucks for it, but I think it is well worth it. I, I, I honestly think it is well worth it. It's like $10.00. Uh, pan so the pan is huge I would go to um, the drugstore and easily pay you know a couple bucks for a highlighter and it would be you know small but you know for this you the, the pan size on these I think you're getting your money's worth and they will work for us I will say that they will well they work for me I guess I'm one of those that really don't mind you know I'm wearing um, Max uh, Light Scapade on my cheeks now, and I didn't think it was gonna work for me, but it it blends beautifully, it melts it beautifully into my skin, and I love it. So play with it, it'll work. So on from that, for my Morphe subscription, I'm just gonna throw that into this haul today. I got my Morphe subscription for the month of June and I got the Morphe E3 brush. It's this very pointed brush. You can use it for setting powders, blush, whatever. I like to use these for setting powders. I got the Morphe E4 brush and you also blush powders. I like brushes like this for contouring and things of that nature. I love brushes like this, especially for contouring because it just goes right down the cheek like I like it. And then I got this detail brush, the Morphe E36 brush. It's this little detail brush. Love little brushes like this. Your inner corner, the bottom lash line, smoke that out. You know, just little things of that nature. Love them that month's subscription. So far, I've been loving the subscription. Next, I got a, this is called the, uh, I forget what the initials stand for, but it's SWL. I'll try to have a link in the description box below. I got it off of their website for free. All I had to do was pay for the shipping. They had a promo going on on Facebook, and so I checked them out. I was blown away by this lipstick. It's SWL, and I got the shade gorgeous there was four shades you could choose from and i got the shade gorgeous it is this this purple i don't gravitate towards purple lipsticks i don't really care for purple i love nudes but this shade right here oh my goodness i'm gonna swatch this for you ladies look at that uh, just absolutely gorgeous gorgeous and it's like i say it was free i only paid shit um uh, shipping and handling fee and I think it was $4.95 so got a $4.95 lipstick and with that much pigmentation so yeah this lipstick that I'm going to show you I got from my local beauty supply it was a dollar I didn't have to pay for shipping and handling I drove down the street and got it this lipstick sucks I'm sorry it sucks it's the same shade purple it is in the color rocking 7020 and it is by iris colors it's supposed to be a matte lipstick it's purple on skin because i'm trying to get into my purples um no pigmentation no it's like a gloss and it says it's a matte lipstick but it's like a gloss so i would probably put the swl one on and then put this over it there you go. End of discussion. I also picked up the LA Girl Pro Conceal uh, Concealer. 
in the orange corrector i love my correctors i have this on up underneath this and so far from what i see it did beautifully so yeah love that i picked up four of the jordana made to last i'm not sure if i showed you these on my last haul but i will show them to you again so for those of you that are interested i picked up the four of the made to last liquid eyeshadows these are gorgeous simply gorgeous i will swatch them for you so the first color i got is in dusk teal bronze and it is a bronze color let's see i'll swatch that right there so this is dust to bronze and they are gorgeous i've used these and this next one is not a wink pink i'll swatch it next to it so not a wink pink right there and the next one is uphold gold swatch this on this side right there uphold gold and these are beautiful beautiful shades I normally don't like things like this but these were just out of this world crazy pigmented and this last one is called immortal metal and I got this one for my wintertime uh, olive greens and my wintertime colors so immortal metal and that's immortal metal right there just gorgeous my that's husband gorgeous. hauled from me from tj maxx i have a thing here lately with the purples i don't know but i just here lately i've been loving purples um this joe and joe australia makeup bag and this thing is huge you see this and it's a lilac purple I plan on taking this with me on the trip that we're going on to put all my little essentials in and my, you know, feminine essentials because Santa Claus will be in town that day and, you know, I need to make sure I'm covered. So, yeah, I will be telling that. You all know that I love Joe and Joe. I have another one that I've done a long time. I showed you a long time ago when I was living in the other house. It's black and white stripe. They are some banging makeup bags. And if you all run across them in TJ Maxx, pick them up. They're dirt cheap. Pick them up. Um, uh, once again, I picked up the Aveeno Active Naturals Positively Nourishing Comforting uh, Moisturizer. This is part of my morning routine now so pick that up i also picked up the brand rock daily resurfacing disc they're clinically shown to diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles so these are just discs they're wet already inside there but you put them under running water on one side it foliates and on the other side it's just you know naturally busting into your skin i love these and they smell great like i said they're by rock i've been taking a lot of care of my skin here lately you gotta do that um i also picked up the oil a oil minimizing toner with witch hazel as you can see i've been loving it and just picked this up i want to say a month ago so yeah have to pick up another one of those then from walmart i picked the sundown naturals vitamin e oil and moisturizer to dry skin some days i have a little bit of dry skin especially around my nose area and you know other areas and yeah a little bit of this goes a long way seriously long way this is super thick this is super thick oil in this bottle um I picked up two other oils from my beauty supply. They were buy one, get one free. And it is the Silk Elements Pure Oils Jojoba Oil. And it has this little drop dropper thing right here. So I love that. I love this for my hair. And I especially use this on my skin at night. I use this and in the morning I wake up with just a beautiful glow on my skin. And then I picked up the Pure Oils argan oil and this one i use in my hair for my hair routine when i wash my hair i normally drop this in conditioner and it works well for me right now you know can't do anything but yeah from the drugstore i also went ahead and picked up the wet and wild photo focus 
setting spray they were having a sale and so i went ahead and purchased it have not used it yet so i can't tell you anything about it and then um tj maxx i picked up an essie nail polish because i love my nail polishes right now i have my nails with um a gel overlay on them because i was getting them done professionally well i still am but just i, I don't get false nails put on anymore these are my real nails they look jacked up right now because they need to be redone um but these are my real nails and you know i don't get false nails anymore it's just too much to maintain them um and they're too damaging on my nails so i picked up the sc fifth avenue nail polish it's a beautiful orangey red i'm gonna wear this to our trip i'm waiting i've been waiting to wear this and I'm so excited. I done swatched it on one of my nails and you know, I can't wait to wear it. It was $3.99. So these Etsy nail polishes range from anywhere from $8.99 on up, depending on where you get them from. I have a whole wall full of them, so I should know. Um, in that little bag that I showed you at the beginning, this nail polish was in there and it's called Trust Fun Beauty and the color is Elegantly Wasted. It's this beautiful lilac purplish gray color. I have just a little swatch on this nail right here because my nail popped off. It broke and popped off, so I put it on there. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to, you know, put the finger up to anyone, but it's on there and it's very gorgeous. I have plans for this one as well. Um, it's almost in the end. Also in that little bag, I got these Bite Lush Lip Wipes. I've never heard of these. I've never seen these, but I'm so interested in knowing because I love, um, you know, five packs. So, you know, couldn't beat that. That was all in that one little bag that I told you I got for 20 bucks. And I think at my local Walmart, I think a whole pack of these like this is more than that. So I was like, why not get the colored ones and, you know, be extra fancy. So that's what I did. And then I've been using this uh, particular soap in liquid form to clean my brushes. It cleans my brushes beautifully, but I had to learn with that soap, you better make sure you wash it out your brushes real good because it will stay behind in your brush and it will make your brushes stiff if it's not cleaned out. But you know when it's cleaned out, when your brushes flow very beautiful, but it, when it cleans out, your brushes are so soft and they're absolutely clean. So I used the liquid form, but this time I went back and I got the bar form and I said, maybe this will help me not use so much. And it is the Castile soap. It, it's got coconut oil, it's a coconut oil soap. And I plan on trying this out with my brushes because the liquid did, it, it just, it cleaned them. I mean, really got in there, cleaned the, cleaned the makeup out. I just had to go back the next day and re-clean, re-rinse um, them out again because my makeup brushes were all stiff because, you know, I have a little Sigma pad and normally the Sigma pad helps me get the soap out, but that soap just got up in there. So, I just got the bar this time and you know with that and then also I got the I think it's three a three pack of Equate Beauty um, wet cleansing towelettes it says it's compares to the Pond's original fresh cleansing towelettes I got these because they were on sale and three packs was in the bundle so I didn't get my Neutrogena this time, but I also picked up from Walmart the Super Stay Better Skin Concealers, and I got the ones in deep and medium deep. I talk about how much I love medium deep in my last um, video that I done before this one, and yeah, this is what I have on right now. Love it. Absolutely love it. Hands down. Love it. And I also got from TJ Maxx the Bare Minerals Ready Touch Up Veil in the Translucent translucent Setting Powder. And I didn't think I was gonna like this at first because it's kind of a pinkish undertone to it, but I do love it. Came with the brush, the little sponge, and it is translucent. I used it today, that's what I have on my under, under eyes today. And I love it. I got this from TJ Maxx for $4.99 I think great deal 
also last but not least I wanted to see what all the hype was about and but I wanted to see what it was about in a cheaper version I guess the dupe you can call it um, I don't know what the real ones feel like because I'm not gonna buy the real ones it's just crazy money for those I'm not gonna buy that now unless they're gifted to me I, I'm not buying them um, but I got the oval brushes and these are the dupe for the artiste ones and I have a set of eight I used these in my face today. I didn't show it in my video because I wanted to introduce these to you guys. I used this one today for my foundation and then I used this one to blend out my concealer. And let me tell you, I put a little bit of, con uh, not concealer, I put a little bit of color corrector on my face. The same amount I normally use. This little bad boy right here took it and blended it all over my face, you know. So I have an orange thing going on up under my face here, which is fine by me because it gave my my foundation that reddish undertone that I love in my makeup. So it's 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 good by me, but a little bit you only need a little bit. If you decide to try these, it I got them from the company. Uh, let me see. It's called my my makeup brush set it came in this little baggie and a little drawstring bag let me see if i can find the card yeah it's called my makeup brush set and i got mine for i think 14.99 because they were having a sale on them so i said well why are they 14.99 let me try them and so i got them and i also got a 20 percent off a gift code for them for another set. I wanted to get the rose gold set because I end up liking them. You know, I do like these. They shed just a little bit, just a tiny bit, um, but not onto my face. I noticed after I got finished putting my little foundation on, there's these little hairs. Uh, you're not gonna be able to see it in the camera, but there's these little hairs sticking out of them right now, and I just took and plucked them out and went on. They're gorgeous. I didn't spend a lot of money on them. Another little thrifty find. You know, I love collecting little brushes. And, yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome back. I'm sorry to be back so soon. But I had um, a little tiny clothing haul and purse haul that I wanted to share with you guys. I got these things on the cheaper side as you can see um i'll let you know where i got them from and if i can find the links to them i will link it down in the description box below to these items hopefully they have them if not i'm sorry but um first things first i got these beautiful gorgeous sandals i love sandals i love sandals i got these gorgeous babies from payless me and my daughters all have a pair like these i think there are there's a white and i want it to be odd because i love this color it's a coral peach color it sort of looks like my dress i have on now but um yeah i love this color these are going with me on my trip that i'm going on just gorgeous 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 little thong sandals love these hands down. i got them from payless i'll see if i can find them they're by american eagle I love American Eagle scent Eagle sandals from Payless. So yeah. Uh, from TJ Maxx. This is way out of my range, you guys. I'm telling you this now. My husband told me it was, you know, I need to step out the box a little bit. So I did. And it's just a little cute to me, like a little date night thing that I would do for date night with me and him, or if I'm just in a rush with the kids and I don't need to carry too much. It is this little and Aren't these handles just everything? This is little tiny, little tiny wallet bag. It's so cute. I have my little keychain for babies over here. This is not real fur, you guys, so no one comment on that. Um, it is by the brand BB. I got it from TJ Maxx. It was on sale for 20 bucks. And I have another purse that I'm getting ready to get off of layaway. Very soon you'll be seeing that one love it it is the color of the dress i have on orange love it but um yeah it's just this little tiny purse looks like that it has a little 
compartment, you know, another little zip compartment, another little compartment. You can't get much in here. So that's why I say it's for date night. Little things like that when I need to go, you know, on a quick little run and I don't want to carry my big bag that I'm about to show you that I've been carrying it for the last two months. So yes, that's this baby right here. And it is, uh, once again, that purple color. I don't know what it is about me and these purples, but it's, it's a purple, lilac purple color. Love it. And last purse. I've always wanted, well, I'm a purse hoarder. I love high-end brand uh, purses, but if I can't get them, well, when I was younger and I was working, you know, in the military, and I could, you know, I could do things like that, you know, but now that I'm a stay-at-home mom, I can't really go that high up with prices anymore, but every once in a blue moon, you know, I'll treat myself or my husband will treat me, but when I seen this bad boy, I was like, oh yeah, this will do. And I got this from all those. We have all those where I'm at now. And I'm just blown away. I love this bad boy. It is quilted. And it has the chains. If I can find the name of this purse, I will find the name for you and link it below. It is black. And it buttons on the sides. It's gold hardware. And it just looks like that on the inside it has your zip pocket here and it has a zip pocket here and then the big opening on the inside i have the paper in them because that's what i do with all my bags when i'm done using them i put the tissue paper back in them and put them back in their bag and then store them up and then this piece right here this is what i'm actually one of the outfits that i'm wearing on my trip and it, i got this from kato's and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to wear this and I really got it too big because I was um I thought you know the size that it is I'm a plus size girl and due to my stomach the way my stomach is shaped it looks like it's pregnant all the time because I have some issues going on with my stomach um, my stomach is protruding out because you know I don't have four babies for c-section so you do man um, Things have gotten loose in there and it's just protruding out. So I got this size in this romper. I got an extra large in this romper because I thought, you know, because of my stomach, you know. But come to find out, it's too big. So I plan on just wearing it anyway because I can't take it back. I've already worn it and it's comfortable. It is, it's comfortable. But it's a V-line in the back and in the front. Looks like a butterfly uh, lace pattern in the front. And it is spaghetti strap, which I love spaghetti strap, even though I have, you know, huge arms, which I'm not ashamed about. Um, the romper, I can't explain the romper to you, but it does have the open legs that you can stick your legs through. I'm not sure what kind of romper this is, but if I can find it, I'll find it for you online. And and I'll link it below, but it is just the cutest pattern. I plan on wearing, pairing those sandals with it to give it a pop of color. Yeah that's what it so if i find these items for you i will link them in the description box below don't worry i got you for you ladies that uh love to dress up and with a bargain i will link that below for you i'm not sure how much that romper was my husband bought me that romper and when i seen it i absolutely loved it so and i think i got that during mother's day weekend i just forgot to show it to you guys so yeah that is it i'm sorry again that is it this time so until my next video guys bye